The next film is Tai Pan, based on James Cavell's best-selling novel from the 1960s about the Europeans who founded Hong Kong as a trading port, using opium in exchange for tea and thus corrupting the native Chinese population. Now that story might have made a terrific political movie, but the movie Tai Pan, the title refers to a trading baron, is really nothing more than a landlocked pirate movie full of fights and threats and drunken parties and womanizing and generational battles amid crashing rainstorms, and all this fury is a crushing bore. Australian actor Brian Brown plays the Taipan who loves a native woman, and who she gets angry when he flirts with another woman. The scene is sort of a bad Asian version of Gone with the Wind. Men's. Men, not men's. Men! I am told men's a place in best sound winner of your prize. <laughs> And you stand there and eat up her bosoms. Eventually, the film reduces itself to a big fight between two men who want to control Hong Kong, played by Brian Brown and John Stem. The impending rainstorm is supposed to add drama, I guess, to the fight. lot more rain than that. At that point, I'd like to see him bring out mops and just clean, <laughs> hit each other or clean up the mess, one of the two. By the time that fight comes around, we have been laughing at the overblown action in Taipan. Roger, you'll get your say in just a second. I'm sure you can think of things I forgot. The waste of the Chinese locations and all the foul de row about who's going to marry whom. Hong Kong is supposedly one of the most exciting places in the world. While the Hong Kong Travel Association ought to ban the showing of this movie, which does nothing to arouse our interest in Hong Kong's past or present. It's a major waste of time and money our time, their money. This is one of the most ridiculous movies that I have seen probably in five years. Well, uh, I'm trying to think back. Probably since Inframan, the one about how... Uh, I want to point out that, that you, were, I know, you were out of town on Howard the Duck. So I did miss Howard the Duck. This movie is unbelievable. One of my favorite scenes involves Mary Sinclair, that girl who comes out from London and becomes such a successful prostitute right. that when the one Taipan's notes are called in, she is, uh, but just from her savings account, she's able to advance him enough money to buy all of Hong Kong, which right. inspires that fabulous line, you're not the Mary Sinclair I knew. Yeah. They, I mean, they, apparently what happened is the entire British Empire went out there and spent 40 years in bed, right? And at the occasion, they got up for a costume dance or a sword fight. Right. And the other amazing thing is none of these guys age. You notice that? I, I mean, didn't notice You see that. Brian Brown at the beginning, and they're shelling the Chinese coast. It's about 18-2 or 18-4. Right. Forty years later, he's still dancing around on the parapets uh, in this big sword fight. Meanwhile, he's got a grown son. I mean, he must be about 80 by then, and he hasn't, ch not a single whisker has changed. It's Roger unbelievable. Will be, Roger will be back with more comments about this movie <laughs> on other shows. It'll take other shows to complete your review. I hate it even more, the mm. wasteful, absurd, epic Taipan. Let's pan it. Two more thumbs down for a film that gives Hong Kong a bad name.